What's up guys, Enrique here, and today I want to talk to you about the mono station, specifically the audio input and how the external input sounds going through mono station's filter and distortion types. Let's get into it. Alright, so let's take a look at the external input and how the sound can get affected by either the filter or the distortion. So, I got the Launchpad app. Um, just because it's the easiest thing to just play a loop and I have it going straight into the uh, audio input right here and I'll go ahead and launch a loop and I guess the first thing that's important is you're going to have to turn up the audio input as well as turn down oscillator 1 of course unless you want to play oscillator 1 while the sound comes in but for this purpose I don't so I'm turning the knob down I'm going to turn the audio input up sure enough we don't hear anything right and that's because this needs to open up the amp envelope in order for the sound to be heard. So if I press a key, you can hear it. But as soon as I let it go, it'll start to fade out. So in order to solve that, I'm going to go ahead and put down a step and then just duplicate it. So I just duplicated it across the entire thing. So when I press play, it'll just hold the sound open. So this is one thing that's kind of cool with the mono station is if I hold down shift, a few options turn white. One that's noticeable, one that's important to remember is the audio input knob turns white. It might be a little hard to see here because of all the light, but that is showing you the audio input gain. So if I turn this all the way down, we'll be able to hear a really clean signal because it's very quiet. But I can slowly turn that up just to add distortion if I wanted. Let's kind of keep it clean for now. So now we can just turn the audio input up. So let's look at the filter on it. Turn some resonance up. Maybe some pre-filter overdrive. Drive down, filter up, resonance down. Let's turn on my favorite type too, distortion. Oh, you can really hear it now. Let's go to type three. Type one. Back to type two. Filter down. Resonance up. Man, imagine how cool this would be if I got them synced up. Man, maybe I should do that. Hmm. So that's just a quick look at the audio input feature on the mono station. For example, if we were to clear the LFO from affecting the filter cutoff and I were to send the envelope to the filter cutoff instead, that might be kind of cool and shorten this up really quick and it'll get like this really gated kind of staccato. Of course, if the tempo was on. Well. 
Anyway, I hope this video helps. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys have any questions or concerns about what went on here. And yeah, thanks again. Share the love, share the knowledge. Knowledge is power. Peace.